Thank you everyone for subscribing to Infinitely Productions. If it is you have not done so, please click the bell and subscribe and we hope you enjoy our content. Charles Pruder, Jr. for Joseph Marlino. Yeah. With me is Joseph Sandy Guido, Your Honor, a member of the Pennsylvania Bar, who I've known for 20 years. Yeah. Your Honor, it's my understanding that uh, the defense be pleading guilty to the violation of 2C-129-2A, and that would be with a recommendation from the state of $250 fine, again, with the um, with discussion with the officers involved uh, concerning that recommendation. Uh, it would be a... a, a Plea of guilty, Your Honor, to the Title 39, 4-51A, the open container charge, and to that the state would recommend a $250 fine again with the discussion and the consent uh, of the officers involved. As to the remaining Longport littering charge, Your Honor, state would move to dismiss that charge. That's my understanding of everything, Judge. That's all right. Let's go over the one. The penalty, uh, $75 safe streets penalty at the request of the prosecutor. I'll merge and dismiss the first count with the second count, all right? Now we have the, the 51A to that he's pleading guilty? Yes, sir. Factual basis of your plea, sir, is that in the city of Margate on the date and time in question, you did have an open container of alcohol or beverage, is that right? Yes, sir. That's right. Except for plea guilty, the $201 fine, $30 cost. Could be a month period to pay that, Your Honor?
Joey Merlino's summer rental property is a rather unassuming townhouse on Moorgates Adams Avenue. At around 7 o'clock this morning, FBI agents went to a second floor apartment and arrested 37-year-old Joey Merlino. Hours later, Merlino's mother and other relatives were seen leaving the house. They were not happy to see the action cam. Why don't you put the newspapers? They came here with Warren with nothing on it. Are you related to Mr. I'm Warren? the mother. You're now the mother. Get out. Why? Get out. Were you here this morning when he was arrested? Get out. Yes, I was. But get you, out. Do you want to say anything get in your defense? Did get you do out. anything I'll, wrong? Yeah, I'd say something. I'll put the thing up your ass. This morning's arrest is not Merlino's first run-in with the law down at the shore. Last August, he paid over $1,000 in fines after he was caught playing blackjack in one of the casinos. Because of his alleged mob ties, Merlino is banned from the casinos. He also pled guilty and paid more fines after carrying an open beer bottle outside a Margate bar. In September of last year, Merlino said he'd spend the summer of 99 in Florida. Merlino apparently chose to stay local instead. Many residents seem genuinely surprised to find out that the reputed mob boss of the Philadelphia and South Jersey mob was in fact one of their neighbors. Somebody was arrested. Really? Who? Joey Merlino. Are you serious? Yeah. He lives here? Isn't that townhouse right there? Get out of here! Joey Merlino, arrested for what? But when you take a close look at the concrete at the townhouse, Merlino's summertime residents may not come as such as a surprise. Residents say little Nicky Scarfo, son of jailed mob boss Nicky Scarfo, convalesced in one of the apartments while recovering from gunshot wounds. FBI agents arrested Joey Merlino at his summer rental home on Margate's Adams Avenue at around 7 a.m. Hours later, Merlino's relatives were seen leaving the second floor apartment. Merlino's mother was not happy to see the action cam. Why don't you put the newspapers? They came here with Warwick with nothing on it. Are you related to Mr. I'm Warwick? the mother. You're now the mother. Get out. Merlino's summer rental has ties to the mob. The concrete at the townhouse was poured by jailed mob boss Nicky Scarfo's company. This morning's arrest is not Merlino's first run-in with the law down at the shore. Last August, he paid over $1,000 in fines after he was caught playing blackjack in one of the casinos. Because of his alleged mob ties, Merlino is banned from the casinos. Six weeks later, he pled guilty to resisting arrest after carrying an open beer bottle out of a Margate bar. In September of last year, Merlino said he'd spend the summer of 99 in Florida. <laughs> FBI agents didn't have to go to Disney World to find a 37-year-old reputed mob boss. He and five other men were all arrested in New Jersey. The five men were in the Camden Federal Courthouse today. They're accused of partaking in a methamphetamine drug ring allegedly run by former mob boss Ralph Natale, who is already in federal prison. Natalie's daughter, who is the sister-in-law of one of the five men, spoke outside the courthouse. I know my father's an innocent man, and uh, the U.S. government will do anything to try and keep him in jail. Mm -hmm. And we'll just uh, help uh, protect his rights and hopefully my brother-in-law's, and I hope everything works out. Leaders of the Pagans Motorcycle Gang, reportedly some of Joy Merlino's closest allies, came to court to support the 37-year-old mob boss. Also in court today, Merlino's wife and mother, who were with him when he was arrested Monday at the Jersey Shore. This is video of Merlino from a previous court hearing, because cameras are barred from federal courts here. After a one-hour hearing today, the judge denied Merlino's bail request on several grounds, including threats he allegedly made to a Philadelphia detective moments after the arrest. He uh, told the detective what goes around comes around and then said you have monkeys at home too meaning children he then said and used some uh, ex expletives and said you're just like your brother agent who had his face shot off on Delaware Avenue 
The FBI viewed that as a reference to the murder of undercover agent Charles Reed several years ago at the riverfront. Yeah. There were no threats. I mean, you saw what happened. They ran into his house. He was there with his child. Guns drawn. You saw his mother pushed. I'm sure he got upset. May have cursed or something like that. But uh, he's known this officer for 10 years. Never threatened him before. Also a spectator in court today, longtime Merlino associate Martin Angelina, who briefly scuffled with Lawman during Monday's arrest. Angelina is mentioned as a possible Merlino successor. Another name mentioned as a possibility for the top post is reputed underboss Joseph Lagambi of South Philadelphia. Merlino pleaded not guilty to conspiracy to sell roughly 11 pounds of cocaine to an FBI undercover agent. I think he has a legitimate, real, real, real good chance to win. I don't think they have many, anything on tape with him where any drugs are mentioned. I think they conned him into thinking that it was something else. Merlino's lawyers already attacking the credibility of Ronald Previty. The chief prosecution witness, Previty, is an ex-Philadelphia cop with a history of gambling, drugs, prostitution, and extortion. Is Previty a credible witness, Joe? Absolutely not. Why not? Look at him. What do you mean, look at him? Look, look at him. Would you believe him? Anybody can make mistakes. That's why pencils have erased.
Is it important that the children have the father? I have no comment. What's it done to the family? Ma'am, uh, can we ask you how you feel about, uh, the, about uh, allowing him out? No comment. How about your grandchildren? How are they doing? No comment. They miss their father? Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on what we should do next in the comments. This is Infinite Lee Productions. We love ya.